All right, we're here with Penn State assistant coach John Gondak. This is one of a series of interviews with the Penn State coaching staff previewing the upcoming season. Uh, of course, Coach Gondak is the coach of the middle distance runners and has been kind of in the in the thick of things with cross country this fall. If you could talk a little bit, a little bit, Coach Gondak, about how training's gone this fall and with the guys that race cross country and the guys that that just kind of train through it and how that equates to 800 meter kind of middle distance training. Sure. Uh, well, we're very excited about how the fall went for everybody. Uh, you know, when you look at our men's team this fall and, and the contributions that Ryan Foster and Owen Dawson made, it was fantastic. Uh, you know, to be guys who were All-Americans at 800 last year to uh, being top seven on a team that qualified for the Nationals in cross country, that's, uh, you know, we're, we're very, very pleased with that. So uh, their aerobic strength right now is very strong as, as uh shown by what they did in cross country so that's, that's really exciting and really everybody uh, from the the men's team and women's team that are more of our middle distance runners had a great fall uh, Kaylin Fisher, Becca Simcoe, Marty Klebe, Liz Kearns, uh, Colleen Shannon they all had a great fall with doing the cross country type training and uh, same thing on the men's side with even our 600-800 type athletes uh, that we get out and do uh, a modified version of cross country training with the cross country group uh, the, the the Kaz Loxums and the Bernard Bennett Greens and Steve Marones, they did fantastic. So uh, Lionel Williams. So it was, I, I believe that we're in uh, great shape right now. Everybody's healthy and I'm excited to get things going. So you, you mentioned a couple of names so far, like guys like Ryan Foster, Owen Dawson, Lionel Williams, and, and Kaz Loxum. A lot of success last year, small American finishes. Kaz, of course, was second at World Juniors. Coming back a year uh, with a year of experience like that, what what does that do for your your training group as as a whole? Well, uh, it makes them a year a, a year stronger. Uh, training to me is just being consistent year after year, and it, it, you know, uh, it's not like Kaz and Ryan are 146 guys, and and we have to come back and start training even harder. Oh, you know, the main thing is is staying healthy and being consistent. And everybody comes back a year stronger. Everybody stayed healthy for the most part all last year, and uh, you know we didn't have many setbacks, and 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 so they're in just. The, the strength that they gained last year and the knowledge and the experience that they gained last year is just going to make them, again, one year smarter and one year fitter. And, uh, you know, and, and a lot of that's evidenced by uh, how, how especially Ryan and Owen did this fall in cross country, uh, you know, to uh, come in and uh, be in the top seven and, and run as well as they did over 8,000 meters and 10,000 meters just shows that they're, you know, continuing that the, the maturation process of an athlete. And then, uh, kind of conversely speaking, we've got kind of a, a, a little group of, of newcomers to that to that men's group. As you mentioned, Bernard Bennett Green, Steve Marone, kind of pretty good 400, 800 types in high school. How, how are they fitting in with the group thus far? Uh, they're doing fantastic. Uh, they've made a transition from more of a, you know, speed-based training out of high school to really uh, working on the aerobic side of things and, and training cross-country. Poor Bernard, he'd never run <laughs> much distance in his life and he's out there just working hard at it and uh, you know obviously we modify pretty significantly what they do as compared to uh, say our longer distance runners like Kyle Dawson and, and Vince McNally but they're out there working hard and, and they made a great transition and you know the 800 obviously is a combination of speed and endurance and the thing that excites me about all of our group on the men and women is that they've uh, both really uh, come to accepting the aerobic side of the training because they'll always have the speed and we'll always work on the speed but the way you become better is to really work on the aerobic side of things and, and that's why I'm so excited about how this fall has gone and, and, and what might lie ahead this indoor and outdoor season for everybody. And you you mentioned your your women's group. You've got a couple in there, you know, the Colleen Shannons, the Liz Kearns, who've kind of been on the, around the block the last couple of years. But now you have kind of two pretty standout recruits in there, Becca and and Kaylin. How are how are things going on on the women's side thus far? It's it's uh, it's going fantastic. I, you know, it's it's nice to have a group, and we've really we've got a group of five girls that are are training really well together right now. With uh, you know the ones that you mentioned, plus Marta Cleve, they've uh, really adapted well to the training. Uh, Marta, heck, Marta, having not really run cross country before, made a made a travel squad this fall in cross country, and so they've really uh, are are training together, pushing one another. Uh, Liz and Colleen are providing great leadership for everyone, uh, the newcomers into the program, and I think it's going to be exciting on the women's side to, to see what we can do uh, in the middle distances this year. 
And then, and then a question a lot of people are probably concerned about a little bit is, is Kaz Loxham last year, as I said, second at World Juniors. What, what do you think that experience over the summer is going to do for his, his year this year? Well, uh, you know, I think, uh, first and foremost, I think Kaz proved to himself that he can go to a championship meet and compete very well, and, and not just compete very well against the best, say, in the NCAA. He competed at an at a incredible level against the best from the world, and, and that experience alone is just uh, going to be help prepare him when we get to the championship meets like a Big Ten championship or a, uh, an NCAA championship this year and, and even uh, a USA championship and what might present itself beyond that. Uh, Kaz has had a great fall himself, uh, you know, did really well uh, with the endurance training and, and is healthy and, uh, you know, knock on wood, everybody's healthy. That's the key to everything. But, uh, you know, I'm excited what, what Pat Kaz is going to do this year. That, that group of, of four guys, Kaz, Lionel, Ryan and Owen have just uh, done some amazing things in their time here at Penn State, and you know the the first, Kaz is obviously a sophomore, but the other three are seniors, and so uh, they've worked really well together, and and it's going to be a lot of fun to see what they can do, especially those three in their last year here at Penn State. And then going into the blue white meet next weekend on the eleventh, uh, obviously we've been talking about we've we've kind of been on, on cross country mode all fall mm -hmm. so far. What? What are you kind of looking to see out of the events at the Blue White Meet? Well, I think we're going to run a 600 for some of them and run a 1200 for uh, the others. And really, it's it's just to me, it's a a chance to see how people compete. And and you know, ultimately in this sport, uh, what it is is it's about competing. And you know, just seeing people step on a line and seeing how they compete. That's that's what we're we're looking for next weekend at the Blue White. Is just go out run hard, compete, and, uh, you know, not really focused on time or have time goals with any of the events. It's, it's all just about going out there and, and, and doing our best and, and kind of if you go out and do your best and you compete well, the, the performances will happen. So. All right, Coach John Gondak, we will see you at Blue White. Sounds good. Thank you.